good day to all of our listeners. We are coming to you live from beautiful Tampa Bay, Florida. You are tuned in to Community Conversations with the Trio. This is Dr. G. I have Sean D. alongside, and we are missing the third part of our trio, Main Man Michael Dove. What's up, Main Man? Sean D. <laughs> Sure, D is doing very well, very well. Uh, good, good to be here and, and broadcasting live. Uh, it's, it's been a minute since we've been been on live, so uh, but appreciate everyone tuning in to uh, a lot of what we have going on with the new broadcast system. So uh, look for more. And the wonderful thing about this, Sean D, is that we will be able to get this message out to a larger number of individuals through our Facebook page, through mm-hmm. our YouTube channel through Twitter, Twitter, you name it. Um, and and we have to let our listeners know that Sean D is our social media guru. So he'll make sure that all the stuff gets out there. Is that right? That, that is correct. Uh, yep. you, as a matter of fact, you're tweeting now. I'm tweeting right now. <laughs> uh, but Absolutely. we do have a show to do. So are you going to tweet or are you going to do the show or are you going to do both? What's, what's yes, the yes, exactly that. Uh, the, so, uh, so you can catch us actually uh, to join in and... Uh, on the conversation, you can always catch us on Twitter at the CC Trio. Uh, and again, that's the CC Trio. You can catch us on Twitter um, or on Facebook at Community Conversations uh, hyphen the Trio. So, uh, and of course, through if you're listening through Spreaker, uh, you can um, uh, hit us there as well. But we're 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 everywhere. We're everywhere. So if folks have questions, comments as we are um, on the air or even later, uh, maybe there are some uh, questions you have that we can answer at an uh, uh, upcoming show. So do not be bashful. Do not be shy. And I think, Sean, we need to let people know what our philosophy is, and that is all conversations are on the table. Indeed. So if there's anything you want to talk about, uh, hit us up on Twitter, Facebook, you name it. We'll get to it, and we will talk about it on the air, so don't be bashful. Uh, Sean D., there there are a lot of things going on right now in the news, and of course, the major story right now uh, that they're giving us live updates as it happens is the Boston Marathon bombings. Mm -hmm. Uh, They have uh, uh, the individuals who are suspected of uh, doing the bombings, and one uh, uh, is dead. The other is still on the loose. Uh, so I know they are working very, very hard to try to find that uh, that individual. So you've been keeping up with the story? Uh, I somewhat was uh, and have been. Uh, actually, I was, uh, as I was on my computer till 3.30 this morning. Um, 3.30? Actually, yeah, uh, working on some deadlines here. But uh, I actually saw the feed come over when the, um, the suspects actually... Um, shot the uh, police officer at MIT. So yeah. I saw that come over and come over the wire. And um, But again, I was, uh, at that moment, I was just wrapped up in what I was, uh, what I was trying to complete there. But, uh, but the idea is all the news coming forth now, and that's what I was kind of waiting for a little bit too, is uh, you had the earlier broadcast where uh, they you know, didn't know really what was happening. So a lot of concern uh, or just misinformation early on. So I, I kind of gave it a minute to set in right. before... Uh, before jumping all over it, but um, but yeah, shout out to all the folks in the Boston area who are on lockdown. Uh, yeah. uh, my wife and I have friends that are you know, know people that are there, and I'm sure others know people that are. Um, that saw a couple of pictures from folks' front yard um, of wow. the cop and activity and police activity, but uh, serious issue. Serious so issue. So they are basically telling the residents to stay home, to stay in, not to leave, um, because the one guy who is still. Um, on the loose is uh, armed and dangerous. Mm-hmm. And I, I mm-hmm. thought I saw, and you correct me if I'm wrong, but I thought I saw one story that was saying that uh, the guy who uh, died may have uh, may have had a bomb on him. Scrapped to him, yeah. He might so have blown himself up. Mm-hmm. So, uh, so they were talking about that. That potentially was um, to what they were thinking the second suspect and why they're kind of they're locking down the city, basically, uh, stopping all transit and everything, which is, you know, a smart move. Uh, the, you know, if someone's out and about, it's, it's going to be just, um, you know, ho- hopefully it's just that individual uh, right. that is out in the wind and uh, out in the open so they can get to them uh, quickly. Yeah. 
So the latest, uh, they found the two suspects of the Boston Marathon bombing. Uh, they have uh, blasted the photos of these two guys over the uh, media outlets. Uh, if you'll notice, one hat uh, has on a black hat, the other has on a white hat. Uh, they're saying that the white hat guy uh, is still at large. The guy with the black hat is dead. And he's the one we were saying that may have blown himself up. Mm -hmm. There is a massive uh, manhunt going on right now in the Boston suburbs. Uh, the cops, I understand, are going door to door to try to find this guy. And interestingly enough, Sean, they're saying that these guys are from Russia. Uh, Chechnya, Chechnya. Yeah, mm -hmm. uh, which is uh, known as uh, a uh, known as predominantly Muslim uh, community. Uh, the one guy that is still on the loose, can you believe this, 19 years old. Wow. Incredible. Um, and uh, you mentioned earlier that uh, a security officer was uh, shot to death at uh, MIT. Mm -hmm. um, Harvard is closed down. Um, I think they also closed down the mass transit um, uh, system so people are absolutely on on lockdown so um, and my hope is you know a lot of people I you know have been seeing uh, on Twitter Twitter <laughs> I knew you were going to do that I, I do it all the time <laughs> that's why I'm not the social media guru <laughs> on uh, Twitter is saying that you know they hope he you know dies I, I hope they catch him alive and the reason I hope mm -hmm. they catch him alive is so they can hopefully try to piece this together Um, and uh, that's one of the things I, I say in the exact same thing is that you know already you already got one that's down um, you know so you won't get any information out of them because right. it's what we need to know of what what else is there right yeah. so it's kind of bring some level of closure on that but um, so we're talking about the fact that hopefully they're able to take this uh, this individual alive but they did get the uh, they call them an accomplice as a third person. Um, that they uh, saw that they stripped down because uh, they were worried about the bomb, you know, mm -hmm. potentially having an explosive device. So stripped him down, um, butt naked, threw him in a uh, cop car um, to uh, so that they do have at least someone who's connected or supposedly connected to it um, that is alive. Uh, and hopefully they'll be able to see if there's any more of this going on. But 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 you know my philosophy. You know, it, it's hard to stop crazy. Yeah, it, it's yeah. hard to stop crazy. If someone really wants to do harm, um, it, it's very difficult to. Um, and yes, we got all these law enforcement officials, but um, it, it's very difficult to pinpoint um, stopping what's what's happening with that. So yeah, uh, so so that's that's an ongoing issue there. Yep. So if you are just tuning in, it's Community Conversations uh, coming to you from beautiful Tampa, Florida. And when I say beautiful... Yeah, is a so uh, yeah we you know the idea of having more um, you know the NRA is is, is not about to um, they're not about to lose you know there, there's a there's a revenue stream there and that's that's the thing that you have to be careful of with the uh, when dealing with the NRA so yeah, and maybe, maybe there's a lot of money there there's yeah. a lot of money there and you know I'm no expert in this whole gun debate stuff um, I don't even own a gun but I'm certainly thinking about it <laughs> uh -oh. with all the crazy stuff going uh -oh. on. Uh, I'm not an expert. Um, I'm not sure if you're an expert, but maybe one of the things that we can think about is uh, getting some folks on our show from both sides of this debate, because I really want to understand the issue. And what's interesting to mm -hmm. me is that they would not pass a bill that makes sense to me. Doesn't it make sense <laughs> to you that if it that if you walk up to a gun show and you just turn over your money um, 
somebody can hand you a gun, you just walk away. Why would we not want to check, to do a, a, a ID check to make sure that this person is legitimate and not a crazy? Or you, Sean, could go right on your nice Mac computer mm -hmm. on the internet. Mm -hmm. You could order a gun, mm -hmm. pay for it, mm -hmm. and I think can they ship it to you? I mean, uh, you these days, uh, these days, I wouldn't doubt it. I wouldn't doubt it. They just come, uh, you know, drop it off at your house. Uh, it's too easy, it, and that's that's the whole point. It's too easy. Yeah, yeah. You have the. Uh, I think they have the wait. Uh, there's a waiting period, um, and uh, yeah, that's there. But again. You have these situations that people are, there are, it seems like it's becoming more popular of crazies, you know, people wanting to do harm to mm -hmm. others in, in this country, in this country. Uh, I mean, it's happening everywhere. So it's not just, um, you know, not just a certain, certain area is happening everywhere. Um, so, uh, yeah, 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 it, it's, it's, I, I don't understand. I don't know, you know, folks, you can hit us up at, uh, again, if you throw your thoughts in there on that at, uh, the CC Trio, uh, at the CC Trio, if you're on Twitter, uh, Facebook, you're on Community Conversations, uh, hyphen the trio. Uh, you can throw your comments up there as well. And I um, read this morning, Sean, that um, Senator, uh, the Senate Majority Leader, Harry Reid, uh, they've decided to put the bill on the shelf for right now. And what they're trying to do is to garner more support before they take it back. Because I really, th I think they thought it would be easier than it than it was, uh, and it was difficult because they had some Democrats who didn't, you know, didn't toe the line. Mm -hmm. They totally went uh, went against them. And again, it was basically a, a gun purchase background check that would happen at gun shows. That would happen with regards to internet sales. And, and to me, again, it just seems to make sense. And again, maybe I don't understand that the, the debate well enough to understand why people would go against this whole background check piece. It, it makes two of us, but like you said, man, perhaps you know, at a uh, future show we can uh, get someone on who, who does have, you know, does have some skin in that game a little bit and, and understand what's, uh, what, what's it really about, what's happening there. Yeah, exactly. Right. And then you got the, uh, the crazy that uh, sent the... Uh, Oh, <laughs> the letter with, uh, was it Ryson? Ryson. Uh, letters. Ryson. Uh, Ryson. Yeah. Um, so there were several letters that went out. One I know went to, uh, or tried to get to the president. Right. And was there another senator? Yeah, uh, yeah a Republican senator, I believe, that um, I think they said the uh, Capitol Police uh, was able to intercept it, but uh, was headed, headed in that direction. So, uh, again, just, you know, this is, it's, it's, Folks wanted to do harm. Folks wanted to do harm. So, you know, what can, can, can we get some legislation just to just to make it a little bit more difficult, right? Uh, it is not to say that folks won't won't find a way. I mean, yeah. drugs are illegal, right? But still, people find a way to get it here, get it, you know, get their hands on it. So it's it, it's it's not to say that laws and legislation will eliminate the problem right uh, but it does it, you know it does make it more difficult to 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 do those things so yeah and what's uh, funny is the guy who sent the letters he's an elvis impersonator get that i, I did hear it. yes <laughs> but he says he is uh, he's innocent obviously everybody says that right uh yeah well when they get caught maybe, maybe it was a uh, prank or something could have been a prank yeah. Um, now, this I'm reading a story from uh, CBS News about this guy, and they're saying he's a Mississippi man charged with mailing uh, ricin tainted letters to national leaders. Wrote in online postings that he had uncovered a conspiracy to sell human body parts on the black market, and on Thursday, his attorney said he was surprised by his arrest and maintains he is innocent. So, mm -hmm. so he's saying that because he uncovered this conspiracy, that they are now targeting him. Well, it, it could be, you know, it could be the situation. I don't know if you remember um, back in uh, the Olympics, uh, the Atlanta Olympics, when they um, had that. Remember, there was a bomb at the Atlanta Olympics, yes. uh, and the first person was, I think, it was a security guard. Oh yeah, yeah. and he was um, accused of. Uh, he was. 
uh, tried in a court of public opinion of being guilty in terms, you know, they 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 dragged him through the mud for uh, a good long while, and uh, you know he ended up being innocent. So, you know, could it happen? Yeah, I mean, it could happen. Did it happen? I don't know. I, I don't know. But the um, the letter they uh, posted uh, an excerpt from the letter, and this is what it says. No one wanted to listen to me before. There are still missing pieces. Maybe I have your attention now, even if that means someone must die. This must stop. To see a wrong and not expose it is to become a silent partner to its continuance. I am KC, and I approve this message. <laughs> Go crazy. With approval. Crazy, crazy, crazy. Oh, man. That's, uh, the, 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 and then... For those who are longtime listeners, uh, you, you you know we have a segment called "That's Just Crazy," uh, but I think this whole show was dedicated to uh, "That's Just Crazy." But uh, but it's it's I mean so you wake up and you you don't know what to expect. Yeah. You don't know what to expect. Plus, you had again North Korea. You know that that whole mm -hmm. um, saga still you know goes on and. Um, no, we, know, it we, just seems like there's war. There, there's there's turmoil, more turmoil happening day by day. Now we should have known, Sean D, if Dennis Rodman <laughs> was over having conversations, trying to negotiate, oh. that the world is all going to hell. <laughs> I mean, come on. When well, that Dr. is happening, Doctor G, you don't think Dennis is a good negotiator over there? He's a, a representative of uh... hell no. <laughs> You need to go sit down somewhere. To this Robin can't go over there and negotiate some, uh, some, some the, peacekeeping. The only skill Dennis Rodman had was rebounding in the NBA. The NBA, that absolutely. Was it. That's, that's all. That, that's that, the that, only that, skill he has. He, he did a fine job of doing that. Now go yeah. sit down somewhere. Yeah. <laughs> there you go. Go retire, sit down somewhere, stop stop, stop messing things up. Right. Yep. But, Indeed. Uh, yes, and, and it goes back to your point of um, you just – wonder can it get any worse you know we had the sandy hook shootings mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. you think it can't get any worse than this then you got the you know people attending a marathon mm -hmm. you know the joy i can only imagine i've never run a marathon but mm -hmm. the joy of running was 26 miles uh for a marathon 26.1 coming, coming to the finish line and all of a sudden you got this you know explosion uh, innocent people, people there cheering. You know, you've heard some of the you know sad stories about that. Um, but you know, Sandy Hook, the school. Oh, and which reminds me of um, there's a uh, school in Long Island, New York. I'm not sure if you've seen this, mm -hmm. but they now have this high tech security where they will have live security cameras feed directly to the police. So get this, they have cameras in the school that are feeding information directly to the police 24 hours a day, seven days a week. Now, what do you think about that? That's, that's Big Brother. <clears throat> that, that's, that's Big Brother, but, I mean, the, the reason that we had the photos of the, um, the, the suspects that came out yesterday is because of the Big Brother aspect, uh -huh. right? So, you know, there's some good that can come out of that. But with any good, there's always the possibility of someone abusing such privileges. Mm -hmm. um, but uh, I think with, you know, in the era of keeping keeping us safe, man, I, if, if you're on Facebook and Twitter and all these, your, your privacy, your, your privacy is pretty much gone anyway. Yeah. Uh, anything you post, if it... it we, as we post to the uh, to the airways right now, there there is no privacy. Right. There. So it, it's you know, I think those days are, unless you're going way off the grid, and I'm not living in the woods, so right. uh, you can scrap that that plan for me. But uh, <laughs> unless you're going way off the grid, I think it's it's a, uh, an ultimate reality uh, that we'll be living with. Is um, you know all those shows from back in the day for those uh, those of us old enough to remember some of those sci-fi shows from back in the day when they were you know the uh, living on the ground, or even uh, the new movie Oblivion, right? That's oh, uh, yeah. you know, that's the, the one of the the new ones, right? Um, but have you uh, seen that one yet? I, I have not, but um, but it's you know it's talking it's that same conversation of um, that something that was meant to be in a taken in a positive the uh, the the 
the computers taking over the world, the Terminator aspect, oh, yeah. right? Machines taking over the world. Mm -hmm. um, you know, there's there's a Minority Report. That's another uh, a good one from back in the day. Um, these these items, these things are, I would say, is going to become the the new norm. Wow. I think it's going to become the new norm. Which is scary. Again, unless you're living in the woods, living off the land, um, the, the, you will be, you're, if not already, you're being recorded at any, you know, video recorded, yeah. um, ATM cameras. I mean, I watch enough CSI and NCIS. I mean, that's that's how they catch crimes, too, you know, using right. the uh, cameras on the top of the um, uh light signals, um, mm -hmm. right? So they have those cameras, they can feed into those. It's all going to some database. So we're, yeah. we're captured on a routine basis. Don't, don't, don't think you're not. And my, uh, my son and I were having this conversation this morning as we were eating breakfast, and he was making the comment of, you know, how did they pick these guys out of these photos as the potential suspects? And I said, there are, they have experts in terms of behavior. And I was saying to him that, if a bomb goes off or a bomb is about to go off, um, they're looking for particular patterns and particular behaviors. Mm -hmm. If a bomb goes off and you don't react in a in an appropriate way, they got their man. Mm -hmm. And obviously they were doing something in those photos or prior to those photos that made them look very, very uh, suspicious. And I was telling him, when, when you go to the airport, I said, you don't know it. But as you're going through the checkpoint, there's somebody standing behind or mm -hmm. aside watching mm -hmm. your every move. Mm -hmm. And if you're not acting appropriately, they will pull your butt out of line and start questioning, what what, what are you doing? Mm -hmm. you know, why are you acting uh, strangely? And I want them to pull you out of line. There you that, go. Because actually, I was supposed to be headed to a conference um, in a couple of weeks in uh, Boston, which I'm second-guessing right about now, uh, to be honest with you. But uh but you know, getting on planes and uh, I heard they uh, you know had to divert a plane. But in that what they want? So, but that's in that what they want? It's it, yeah, yeah. I mean, that's part of what they're going for. You know, the fear. They uh, want us to live the, in fear. The fear factor, but uh, I'm gonna let that fear wash over me for a little bit. So, right. Uh, that's that's one of the things uh, uh, that I'm gonna look forward to in doing is uh, is, is doing those things that are uh, you know that that are just that. I, I don't know if it's going to be something that I want to be a part of in the immediate time because at the at the end of the day, I think as as this unfolds, everything is going to be at heightened security, um, and and as that heightened security is, uh, then I'll begin to maybe travel a little bit more again. At least, in particular, in this case, to Boston. So I would say they got me right now. Yeah, you right <laughs> they now. got me yeah. right now. Yeah, and you know it was the same thing with. Um 9-11, uh, remember? Mm -hmm. After 9-11, people mm -hmm. were very, very fearful, right, rightfully so, because that mm -hmm. was major. Mm -hmm. um, but we have to make sure that these terrorists know they're not going to disrupt us as uh, individuals and as a country, because um, we have to move on. And that's kind, that was kind of uh, Obama's uh, message when he you know, was in Boston at the, uh, it was the interfaith um, a meeting that they had, and he was, you know, very, very defiant that mm -hmm. you're not going to stop us. This, you know, the games will go on. Mm -hmm. You know, we 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 are not going to stop. We're going to find you, and we're going to. He basically want to say, we're going to kick you. <laughs> we're going to get you, get you, yep. get you. Yep, indeed. Yeah. So, uh, but we just wanted to uh, uh, get to you just to, uh, folks. Uh, like I said, we haven't been on in a little bit, so uh, there's so much, so much happening. Um, and uh, we'll, we'll be back to our uh, regularly scheduled uh, program uh, as in, in the coming weeks here. But uh, we, we couldn't um, we couldn't go too long without uh, without talking to folks and wanted to uh, get an opportunity to get out and, and get some thoughts on it. And yeah, again, you can always stay in contact with us off air at uh, through Twitter at the CC Trio. That's the CC Trio. Uh, of course, Facebook Community Conversations uh, hyphen the Trio. Uh, as well as on um, our website, cctrio.com, and uh, you'll have uh, plenty of information up there, and you can sign up to do, for our mailing list uh, as we have uh, opportunities with our sponsors to um, certain deals, and also if you want to keep up with what's happening around Tampa Bay, uh, that's one of the ways you can do that as well. So, uh, But, yeah, Dr. G. And this is only two parts of the trio. Mm-hmm. You're in for a treat when you have all three of us 
broadcasting live. So you don't want to miss it. Uh, we would love for you to join us. Uh, it's going to be off the chain. So we invite you to, to tune in. All right. That's it for now. Stay tuned. We'll be at we'll be back for more. Yep. Appreciate Indeed. you tuning in.